Hi everybody, Alex Deploy here from Expert Forex and in this video I'm going to show you how to double your account in one trade. Now why am I showing you this at, at this time? We are starting a trading competition on Monday and I'm sure everybody would like to do pretty well in this competition. What I'm going to show you today is one of the techniques that you can use to double your account in one trade. So obviously if you do this a couple of times you're going to actually win the competition. So I'm giving you a bit of a guidance on how you can double your account in one trade and establish a position in this competition. We're paying prizes up to 21 places so certainly if you can double your account you'll be pretty close to a prize. Okay, so it's a five-step process. The first step is really to gather information. And, and the information is about the volatility of the currency that you're going to be trading, the pip value, and the margin required to trade a particular currency. Very important information, as you'll see as we move through the process. Now, I've already done this uh, in this example to save time, and I've listed four currencies showing the margin. This margin is for a micro lot, uh, and the pip value for a main lot. So there's the pip value for a main lot for these four currencies. I've also extracted the daily volatility of each currency, and that's really required for decision making. I'll just show you, uh, I have included the pip value link and the volatility link. I'll just show you those very quickly on, uh, on the website. Here is the MATF website, and here is a list of currencies, and in this column, you can see the daily pip volatility of each currency. So that is where you get the daily volatility of each currency. Then if we flip to the pip value, pretty straightforward. Again, you've got a, a list of currencies, and they give you the pip value in US dollars. I'm using US dollars in this example. So now that we've got that information, the volatility, the margin, and the pip value of, of the currencies we intend trading, we'll move on and, and start calculating. Now, I'm going to start on the pound New Zealand, and I'm going to assume a 100 pip stop. 100 pip stop and the pip value as we've looked up is $7.26 for a main lot. So if you take 100 times 7.26 you get $726. That's how much money we're going to need in our account to trade one lot with a stop of 100 pips. So we need that in our account. The, the other thing that we need in our account is we need margin to finance the deal. So the broker is going to take margin for this deal. And we've looked that up, and that is $317. So the, the broker is going to ask us for $317 to put aside while this deal is being financed. So in total, to finance our stop and our margin, we are going to need... $1,043 for every main lot that we trade. So that's the first step. We need to calculate how much money we need to trade one lot. And I'm assuming 100 pips at this stage. And these, uh, I've done this on Excel, so these are all little formulas. So the next step is to say, all right, what is the maximum amount of lots I can trade with my account? And that's also another simple little calculation. You basically just input your account balance and divide. You then divide the account balance by the, the finance required for every one lot. And that will give you the maximum amount of lots that you can trade with your account. So, so that is the third step, is to calculate the maximum amount of lots that you can trade with your account. Okay, so then we move on to the fourth step. If, if you're going for a 100 pip target and you're going to be earning $7.26 for every pip that you, that you make and you're going to be using the 9.59 lots that we've calculated, you're going to have an income of $6,900, which as it says there is not enough because we want a th at least 10000 So the next so, so this step is really to balance your target and your stop. Now, the target I don't want to fool around with, but now the stop we can change. 
Now, as you see in, in step one, I have put stop values because I've re pre calculated the stop values. And it says for the pound New Zealand, we're going to need a stop of 55. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into this formula, go into f and, and change that to 55, press calculate. And then what happens, it then says we need less to finance each trade and therefore we can trade more lots and because we can trade more lots now with a hundred pips we can now double the account so now we know all we have to do is put in a deal with a 55 pip stop and a hundred pip target and use 13.96 lots and we will double our account so that's how simple it is so now that we know we need 13.96 lots and, and we need a target of 100 and we need a stop of 55 and we, this is based on the pound New Zealand, we can go ahead and trade. So that's step five. Just enter that deal. Just enter a deal with a, 50 pips, a 55 pip stop and a 100 pip target and you will double your account if successful. If unsuccessful, you must probably blow your account. But remember, the competition is about demo accounts. So if you've blown a demo account, you have, you've lost nothing. Just open another demo account and try again. The next question is, which direction do I trade the pound New Zealand? Doesn't matter. Just spin a coin, trade it. If, if it wins, you doubled your account. If it doesn't, open another demo account. Enter that demo account in the competition. Try again. The, the big thing with this is to apply action. Now, a, a lot of people say, oh, this is impractical. I can't use it in live trading. Now, I'm, what I'm going to do with this particular model that I've got here is I'm going to just ch make a couple of changes and suddenly it will become a lot size calculating model. So what, what, watch closely. We've assumed a, an account of 10,000. Now I'm going to just move that amount over here and I'm going to say 10,000 and we, we're going to trade 100% change. Okay, and now I'm going to turn this into a formula. So I'm going to say, all right, 10,000 times 100%. So now let's say you don't want to double your account. Now you only want to risk 3% of your account. So what you then go is you go and change this to 3% and it will automatically calculate the lot sizing that you need to do to risk 3% of your account. So I've now turned this little model into a lot sizing model that you can use every day. So you, if, if you only want to risk 1%, you just change that to 1% and now you have a lot sizing model. So this, all I've done here is I've taken a normal lot sizing model and I've gone to the extreme. I've said, all right, I'm not going to risk 1%, I'm going to risk 100% of my account. And, it, and, and a lot of people say, my goodness, so I'm going to have a margin call, I'm going to lose all my money. Not so. Uh, when you have a margin call, the margin that the broker has taken is the security that he has over you. So what he does is he says, all right, you've done a margin call, you've made a loss, but here's your margin back. So what you will do is you will get back, and I'll just calculate this, you'll get back so many lots times the margin you've put down. So that is four thousand dollars so suddenly oh you're not losing your whole account you're actually getting four thousand dollars back so what does this do this changes the risk return ratio of this trade into a 40 percent risk and a hundred percent gain so now the, the the ratios don't look that bad they're not zero hundred they actually only forty hundred and the risk return ratio is not bad if you have a high success rate. So anyway, this is just all food for thought. The most important thing is that you use this information to enter the trading competition and create great gains. 
So from here, Alex Deploy, I hope you found this interesting and I hope you take action on the information you've just seen.